Welcome to the Ultimate Sports Walk Podcast. Today is Saturday, February 23rd, 2019. Today I'm going to recap yesterday's college basketball, NBA, and NHL games. Look ahead to today's slate in each of those sports. Talk about a little bit about Robert Kraft, his situation from yesterday. Just want to get more into it. Detail that cannot be overlooked. Ben Lovejoy traded my closer rankings, and my best bet. To college basketball, we go. There was only a few games last night because it's a Friday night. It was mostly Ivy League, MAC, Metro Atlantic, some Big Ten. Ohio defeats Bowling Green 92-87 in overtime. Number 25, Buffalo defeats Kent State 80-57. Brown defeats Harvard 88-79. Canisius defeats Monmouth 60-59. Iona defeats Manhattan 66-52. St. Peter's defeats Marist 65-59. Ryder defeats Niagara 97-81. Yale defeats Dartmouth 77-59. IUPUI defeats Milwaukee 67-60. Columbia defeats Penn 79-77 in overtime. Princeton defeats Cornell 69-59. Green Bay defeats UIC 63-62. Davidson defeats Rhode Island 75-66. And number 21, Iowa defeats Indiana 76-70 in overtime. Today's slate, just going to go through all of them, pick nationally televised games, games between ranked teams, and obviously all the major teams as well. 12 o'clock on the ACC Network, number three, Virginia, number eight, Louisville. Virginia's a five-point favorite. I think Virginia's going to win and cover. I do not like what I have seen from Louisville since the Duke collapse. On ESPN, you have number 5, Tennessee, and number 13, LSU. Tennessee's favored by two. I think they're going to win and cover. They're the better team. Number 11, Marquette at Providence, 12 o'clock on Fox. Marquette's favored by three and a half. Guess what? I think Providence, it's their time to pull off a nice home upset against a ranked team. So give me Providence at home. Trap game for Marquette. Penn State, Illinois, on the Big Ten Network. Illinois' favored by two and a half. I think Penn State's going to win. They're the better team. Boston College at Clemson. Clemson's favored by 11. This is on the ACC Network. I think Clemson wins and covers. Texas at Oklahoma on ESPNU. Oklahoma favored by 4. Tough call here. I'm going to take Oklahoma to win. And I'm going to say that it's close. So I think Texas covers. But at worst, it's a push. I think they nailed the number. On ESPN News, Tulsa, Temple, Temple's favorite by 7, though, win and cover that easily. 12.30, Towson and Northeastern. 1 o'clock, LU, Brooklyn and St. Francis, Pennsylvania. Sanford at the Citadel. Western Kentucky at Old Dominion. 1.30 on CBS, Auburn at number 4, Kentucky. Kentucky's a 7-point favorite. They'll win, they'll cover. They're just better than Auburn. 2 o'clock, Big Ten Network, Purdue. He's 15 in the country at Nevada. I'm sorry, Nebraska. Purdue's favored by six. They're going to win, and they're going to cover. Two o'clock on ESPN2, number 19, Iowa State at TCU. Iowa State's a point and a half favorite. I think TCU's going to win at home as the dog. Two o'clock on ESPN, Ohio State at number 24, Maryland. Maryland's favored by five and a half points. I'm going to take the home team to win, but Ohio State to cover. Georgia Tech at Miami. Miami's a seven-point favorite. I think Miami wins, but Tech covers. West Virginia at Baylor on ESPNU. Baylor's favored by 12 and a half. I think Baylor wins and covers. Agaba Kanate's out for the year for West Virginia. Vermont at Binghamton. Miami of Ohio at Akron. George Washington at VCU. VCU's favored by 18. They'll win and cover. Richmond at LaSalle. LaSalle's favored by 2. I'm taking Richmond to win as the dog. St. Joe's at UMass. UMass is favored by 2. I'm going to take UMass to win and cover. Central Michigan at Ball State, Evansville at Bradley, Indiana State at Murray State, Wyoming at Colorado State, Colorado State's favored by 11. I'm taking them to win and cover. CBS Sports Network, Navy at Colgate, Colgate's favored by 13 and a half. That's a big number, but I think they'll win and cover. Western Michigan at Eastern Michigan, Georgia Southern at Appalachian State, Georgia State at Coastal Carolina, Charleston Southern at Winthrop, 230, Tennessee Martin, Austin P. 2-3 on Fox, Georgetown and Creighton. Creighton's favored by 6. They're going to win, and they're going to cover. 3 o'clock, Youngstown State at Wright State. UAB at Southern Miss. Campbell at Longwood. 
Yale Monroe at UT Arlington, Detroit Mercy at Oakland, 330 Sacred Heart at Central Connecticut State, Loyal Marymount at Pacific, SEC Network, Georgia at Ole Miss. Ole Miss is favored by 10. I think they win, but Georgia covers. 345 on CBS, number 16, Florida State at number 8, North Carolina. UNC is a 7-point favorite. I think that's high, and Florida State's on their winning streak. But somebody knows something, and I'm going to take North Carolina to win and to cover. 4 o'clock on ESPN, number 20, Virginia Tech at Notre Dame. Virginia Tech's favorite by 3.5. This suggests trap game, but I'm going to take Virginia Tech to win and cover. Oklahoma State at number 23, Kansas State on ESPN2. Kansas State's favorite by 9.5. They'll win and cover. ESPNU, Missouri at Florida. Florida's favored by 10. They'll win and cover. Florida's playing a little better lately. James Madison at Hofstra. Chicago State at Seattle. UNC Wilmington at William & Mary. St. Louis at Dayton on CBS Sports Network. Dayton's favored by 6.5. I'm going to take Dayton the win, but St. Louis to cover. The Kane at George Mason. George Mason's favored by 3.5. I'm going to take the Kane to pull off the road upset. North Alabama at Stetson. Eastern Washington at Northern Arizona. Idaho at Southern Utah. Mount St. Mary's at Bryant. Chattanooga at Mercer. Wofford at Furman's a fantastic game. These two teams are combined 45-9. and nine. Furman's favored by a point and a half. I'm going to take Furman to win and cover. Denver at North Dakota, FIU at FAU, Maryland Eastern at Delaware State, Norfolk State at Morgan State, South Carolina State at NC A&T, Savannah State at NC Central, Florida A&M at Bethune-Cookman, Howard at Coppin State, San Jose State at Air Force, Utah State at Boise State, New Orleans at McNeese, 430 Central Arkansas at Nichols, Southeast Louisiana at Abilene Christian, Lamar at Texas A&M Corpus Christi, Wagner at Fairleigh Dickinson, Presbyterian at UNC Asheville, Loyola Maryland at Boston University, 430 on NBC Sports Network, St. Bonaventure at Fordham. Bonaventure is a four-point road favorite. I'm going to take them and win a cover, although I'm not super about it. 5 o'clock, Liberty at North Florida, Delaware at Drexel, Louisiana at Texas State, St. Francis at Robert Morris, Little Rock at Arkansas State, Hampton at Radford, Omaha, North Dakota State, Eastern Kentucky at Jacksonville State, South Dakota at South Dakota State, 515 South Alabama at Troy, 530 Incarnate Word at Stephen F. Austin, Hartford at UMass Lowell, 6 o'clock ESPN, number one Duke at Syracuse, Duke's a five-point favorite. I was told today that Zion Williamson is worth five points to the point spread. I think Duke is going to bounce back here and win and cover. Don't feel super about it. If Jim Beheim's incident didn't happen, I would have taken Syracuse to pull up the home upset. But I think Syracuse is going to be a little bit of an emotional team. With what the coach is going through and them losing game day in result of it. On ESPN2, you have South Florida at number 9, Houston. Houston's favored by a whopping 13 points. I think that's a lot. Give me Houston the win, but South Florida to cover. NJIT at Jacksonville, Oregon State. At USC, USC is a two-point favorite. I'm taking Oregon State to pull off the road upset. CBS Sports Network, Northern Illinois at Toledo. Toledo's favored by 9.5. I think they'll win and cover. Texas Rio Grande, New Mexico State. South Carolina, Mississippi State on the SEC Network. Mississippi State's a 9.5-point favorite. I think they'll win and cover because I don't love the Gamecocks on the road. ESPNU, Vanderbilt at Alabama. Alabama's favorite by 8.5. I'm taking Bama to win, but Vandy to cover. Mississippi Valley State at Prairie View, Dartmouth at Brown, Charleston, Middle Tennessee, SU Edwardsville at Belmont, 630 Alabama State at Alcorn State, Grambling at Jackson State, 7 o'clock Cleveland at Northern Kentucky, Cornell at Penn, Gardner-Webb at High Point, Harvard at Yale, Charleston at Elan, UMBC at Albany, Maine at Stony Brook, Kennesaw at Florida Gulf Coast, 730 VMI at Western Carolina. 8 o'clock, CBS Sports Network, Fresno State at number 6, Nevada. Nevada's a 13-point favorite. I think they'll rebound here and win and cover. 8 o'clock, ESPN, number 12, Kansas at number 14, Texas Tech. Texas Tech's a 5.5-point favorite. I like how Kansas has played the last couple games. I think they'll hang around in this one and cover, but Texas Tech will ultimately get the victory. Columbia at Princeton, Valparaiso at Northern Iowa. Houston Baptist at Sam Houston State. Oral Roberts at Western Illinois. North Texas at Louisiana Tech, Southeast Missouri State at Marie State, Long Beach State at UC Riverside, Utah at Washington State. Utah's a one-point favorite. I can't believe they're only favored by one. 
but that shows you how well Washington State has played recently, and I'm going to take the Huskies to win at home. After that upset over Colorado, I'm going to give them my respect. East Carolina at Tulane. Tulane's a two-point favorite. I'm going to take East Carolina to pull off the road upset because Tulane is just god-awful. ESPN 2, Memphis and Wichita State. Wichita's favorite by four. I'm going to take Wichita State here to win and cover. I like how they've looked of late. Portland at Pepperdine. Fox Sports 1, Seton Hall at St. John's from Madison Square Garden. St. John's is a four-point favorite. I think they'll rebound from the Providence loss and get a big win here on their home court. So give me St. John's in a revenge spot over Seton Hall. 8.30, Big Ten Network. Number 22, Wisconsin at Northwestern. Wisconsin's favorite by five. They'll win and cover. SEC Network, Texas A&M at Arkansas. Arkansas's favorite by five and a half. I'm going to take Arkansas to win and cover. Moorhead State at Tennessee Tech, Eastern Illinois at Tennessee State, Arkansas Pine Bluff at Texas Southern, Alabama A&M at Southern, Rice at UTEP begins the 9 o'clock slate, St. Mary's at San Diego, UMKC at Utah Valley, Montana State at Montana, 10 o'clock ESPN, BYU at number 2 Gonzaga, Gonzaga's a 20-point favorite, they're going to stromp them and win and cover. CSC Fullerton at UC Santa Barbara on ESPN2, Oregon at UCLA. This is probably the Dave Pashko Walton special, although I wouldn't be surprised if it's Gonzaga's game again. UCLA is a one point home favorite. They got the win over Oregon State. Will they get this one? I'm going to say no. They're not consistent. Give me Oregon on the road for the upset. Cal Baptist at CSC Bakersfield, Hawaii at Cal Poly, UC Davis at Cal State Northridge. 10 o'clock ESPN U, San Diego State at UNLV. San Diego State's a one half point favorite. This screams let down after. The upset went over Nevada, so give me UNLV as a home upset pick right there. Sacramento State at Portland State, 10:30 Pac-12 Network. Colorado at Washington. Washington's an eight-point favorite. They'll win and cover. And at 11 o'clock, last but not least, is San Francisco at Santa Clara. NBA. There's a decent slate last night. A couple good games. Timberwolves defeat the Knicks, 115-104. Carl Anthony Towns did not play due to concussion, and the Knicks continue their home losing streak. That's at 18. Hornets defeat the Wizards 123-110. to Big win for Charlotte to keep themselves relevant in the Eastern Conference playoff pitcher. Bad loss for the Wizards. The Pacers defeat the Pelicans 126-111. Good come for mine win from Indiana after being down double digits in the first half. The Bulls defeat the Magic 110-109. Game winner by Laurie Markkinen as Orlando brutal loss as they were sitting a game and a half, I'm sorry, a half game back of the eighth seed in the East. You can't lose to teams like the Bulls. I'm sorry, Magic. The Raptors defeat the Spurs 120-117 in DeMar DeRozan's return game. Spurs had the lead, and then Raptors come from behind, and... Kawhi Leonard fittingly hits the go-ahead dunk with 15 seconds left to give the Raptors the win, and they hit the clutch free throws down the stretch. The Pistons defeat the Hawks 125-122. The Hawks led pretty much the whole game. Pistons came from mine and won, courtesy of a game-winning three by Thon Maker with 16.7 seconds left. The Clippers defeat the Grizzlies 112-106. Clippers def- continue to defy expectations after the trading of Tobias Harris. But I think this was more about their opponent than it was about them. The Nuggets defeat the Mavericks 114-104. No you, Luka Doncic. Denver takes advantage. And the game of the night, the Thunder defeat the Jazz 148-147 in double overtime. Paul George hits the go-ahead floater with... I believe it was like 0.7 left on the clock for OKC to win. And and Kyle Korver misses the three. And Oklahoma City hangs on for a fantastic double overtime win over their first round opponent from a year ago. Today's slate. Bigger slate for a Saturday. 1 o'clock, the Trailblazers at the Sixers. 7 o'clock, the Suns at the Hawks. The Nets at the Hornets. The Grizzlies at the Cavaliers. The Pacers at the Wizards. The Lakers at the Pelicans. 
7.30, the Pistons at the Heat. 8 o'clock, the Celtics at the Bulls. The Kings at the Thunder. 8.30, the Timberwolves at the Bucks. ABC at 8.30, Saturday primetime, the Rockets at the Warriors. There's rumors that James Harden might not play due to a shoulder strain. But either way, Harden or not, this is a revenge spot for the Warriors, and I think they're going to win and they're going to cover. And then at 10 o'clock, the Mavericks at the Jazz. I'm interested to see how Dallas and Oklahoma City recover. Or, I'm sorry, Utah and Oklahoma City recovered from that thriller of a game last night. The NHL. Only a five game slate. Last night, the Blue Jackets beat the Senators 3 0 in Matt Deshane's first game with the Blue Jackets. The Wild defeat the Red Wings 3 2. The Avalanche defeat the Blackhawks 5 3. Huge win for Colorado in terms of the playoff pitcher. The Flames defeat the Ducks 2-1, and the Jets defeat the Golden Knights 6-3. So that's six straight home losses now for Vegas. Baker slate today. 1 o'clock, the Devils at the Rangers. The Capitals at the Sabres. 4 o'clock, the Bruins at the Blues. 5 o'clock, the Kings at the Panthers. The Sharks at the Blue Jackets. The Hurricanes at the Stars. 5-3, the Avalanche at the Predators. 7 o'clock, the Canadians at the Maple Leafs. That's a big one from Toronto. 8 o'clock, NBC. Penguins, Flyers from Lincoln Financial Field, Doc Emmerich, Eddie Olchek, Pierre Maguire on the call. This should be a great game. I'm going to take the Philadelphia Flyers led by Carter Hart. And I think that they're going to get the win over their rival in what is pretty much a home game for them. 10 o'clock, the Ducks at the Oilers and Islanders at the Canucks. Speaking of hockey, there's a trade that just went down. The Dallas Stars acquired Ben Lovejoy from the New Jersey Devils for a 2019 third-round pick and defenseman Connor Carrick. I think that is a good trade for Dallas. He is obviously an upgrade at that position. I'm surprised the return that New Jersey got. I think a lot of teams have overpaid for their trades so far this year. I pretty much think every trade's been an overpay so far. And I'm fascinated to see what the likes of Kevin Hayes, Matt Zuccarello, Mark Stone get on the trade market and what those teams get back in return. But that was an interesting trade on both sides. New Jersey gets a pick and another young defenseman back in return for a veteran that Needed to go into a contender. Robert Kraft, that situation is continuing. He obviously was hit with some charges yesterday due to soliciting prostitution. I discussed this on my podcast for a couple minutes yesterday, but... Something that I didn't know about at the time yesterday that I would like to bring up on the podcast is that Kraft isn't the only big name involved in this. I'm fascinating who it is that Adam Schefter reported that part of the story yesterday. And to me, that is the most fascinating angle left of the story that the truth hasn't been told yet. So keep an eye on that, folks. Now I'm going to do my MLB closers rankings. There's 31 closers on here. There's obviously one free agent on there. And every other team's projected closer. Number 31, Trevor May of the Twins. 30, Jose Alvarado of the Rays. 29, Jose Leckrick of the Rangers. 28, Hunter Strickland Mariners. 27, Matt Barnes Red Sox. 26, Michael Givens. Orioles, 25 Kirby Yates Padres, 24 Shane Green Tigers, 23 Alex Colon White Sox, 22 Drew Streckenrider Marlins, 21 Will Smith Giants, 20 Sean Doolittle Nationals, 19 Brad Boxberger Royals, 18 Ken Giles Blue Jays, 17 Arodis Viciano Braves, 16 Sir Anthony Dominguez Phillies, 15, Corey Nebel, Brewers. 14, Roberto Osuna, Astros. 13, Cody Allen, Angels. 12, Archie Bradley, Diamondbacks. 11, Wade Davis, Rockies. 
10, Felipe Vasquez, Pirates. 9, Brandon Morrow, Cubs. 8, Andrew Miller, Cardinals. 7, Craig Kimbrell, Free Agent. 6, Rasiel Iglesias, Reds. 5, Brad Hand, Indians. 4, Araldus Chapman, Yankees. 3, Kenley Jansen, Dodgers. 2, Edwin Diaz, Mets. And number 1, Blake Trinan, Oakland Athletics. He had the year of his life last year. He could regress, but he was just flat out dominant to the point where he reminded me of 2015-16 Andrew Miller. So that's what makes him the number one guy on the list. I think there's a chance if I do this midseason that Diaz could be one or somebody else could be one. And now I'm going to do my best bet brought to you by FanDuel. I did not win yesterday's. Because somebody lost. But today's all college basketball, wagering $1.50 plus 619 odds, winning $9.29 with the payout of $10.79. Clemson, Northeastern, Baylor, Eastern Michigan, Colorado State, Wright State, Ole Miss, Southern Utah, Hofstra, Florida, Kansas State, Air Force, Jacksonville State, South Dakota State, and Austin P. Like I said, about. A little over 6 to 1 odds with the payout of $10.79. That's it for the podcast today. I'll be back tomorrow, if not tomorrow, then Monday, recapping everything from the weekend. Unless I do it tomorrow, then I'll just do uh, today's games and looking ahead to tomorrow. If I do it the podcast tomorrow, then I'll do my reliever rankings. If not, they'll be held for Monday, and I'm meaning the non-closer reliever rankings. For baseball. The only way I might do my podcast tomorrow or if it's like an emergency situation is if Bryce Harper signs. That wouldn't be also surprising because he obviously met with the Phillies last night. I forgot to mention that before. And I hope you guys have a great day, everybody.